Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, the show for the geek and all of us, and this is episode 55. We're back, we're back again, we're coming off the tales of our Avengers Infinity War spoiler episode, so if you haven't listened to that, go back and listen to it. Uh, we had some fun with that one, but today we're just, we're just going to have yeah. some fun. We're going to have some fun. Um, I'm here, this is Ryan, my brother Chris is here, our good pal Katrin's here, and we have a very special guest. Oh. It's full of knowledge. It's just going to drip it upon us throughout this episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, gross. What? Gross. Knowledge. You know, it's too moist. You know, I got to go to bed early tonight, so <laughs> you can drip without me. Anyways, <laughs> our friend Jared Kohlinger is back with us again, and he's 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 got all this knowledge of all these uh, action figure lines. He, he, you know, he's been... In many magazines about it, uh, or he just he's read many read magazines. magazines. Yeah, that's what <laughs> he's he read yeah. a lot of magazines. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean, he's rolled around in the right. magazine. Yeah, he's rolled around in the magazines, but uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> it's just clothing for warmth. <laughs> <laughs> so Jared's here. Welcome, Jared. Welcome back. Thank you. Glad to be back, everybody. He said that he wouldn't come back on until he caught up on all of our episodes, so I think he's caught up now. I have completely caught up on all the episodes. Um, the 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 Ray Chase saga, uh, the, <laughs> the, Dor- uh, the Dorian saga. Um, it's it's been a wild ride. Ray, Ray Chase was really good until he was bought out by Disney, and then it just sort of went downhill. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love Ray. It, it, everything set up got set up for Ray, and then they got another director in, and they just yeah. kind of shot everything out. Shot everything just, down. We don't, we, don't, we don't care about that. And they killed him. I love um, uh, the, the original, uh, you know. Spoiler. They killed him. Yeah, yeah, the original Ray. Original Ray. <laughs> no, we love Ray. And last week, you know, I heard that, you know, someone had some some hurt feelings for Dorian. We love Dorian. Him. Yeah, it's we okay. love Dorian. We even though, like, this. even though you got that dreadful allergy uh, to the world. <laughs> and I'm now, now- now, now the sniffles are a serious thing, Chris. Yes, yes. it's true. It's, yeah, a, it's a legitimate medical condition. We will get him back on here because we lo- we love him. We want him back on. We'll get him back on. It's a cool guy. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna get all our guests back on. So it's gonna wow. Be a guest it's crossover. Big, big yeah, crossover. Big crossover. Oh wow. Uh, oh wow. All right. So tonight we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna talk about action figures, action figure lines, franchises throughout the years. Um, this sort of prompt. I, I sort of got prompted to do this. I was at Toys R Us um, last week, you know, giving sort of a final. It's still there. Walk, walk there's through. a few. Yeah, there's a few still around. What's Our, left in yours? I was in there's Austin, a... and um, theirs was still open, and because my wife was there for work, so we tagged along, and I took Grant, and thinking we were just going to run in and look at something, then run out, and we were there for like two hours. I think. He just wanted to play their thing. But, but it was full. It still had tons yeah. of stuff. It had yeah. stacks and stacks of those um, Star Wars speeders. I yeah. really wanted to yeah. buy one, but we, there's no way we could have got it back. But I bought something that has been, you know, 30, 40 years. I'm turning 40 Saturday. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, most times when you're with, uh, most times You're with, too old yeah, for our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, we're ta- I'm going to be talking about tiddlywinks and playing with sticks and rocks. How's this thing work again? <laughs> Internet. Yeah, in my day. <laughs> what? I, what? Am I supposed to stare in this light? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So uh, most people, when they turn, you know, when they go through a midlife crisis or whatever, <laughs> you're only going to be eighty. <laughs> Probably for me, I'm only be eighty. Too much Mountain Dew for Ryan. I know. I went to the dentist. <laughs> no, that's, that's I went to the good. dentist, and they took my blood pressure, and they looked at me and said, "Are you stressed?" And I was like, yes, constantly. I have a toddler and, and an infant. <laughs> I'm stressed. So anyway, so, you know, I didn't buy a sports car. I didn't buy, you know, anything extravagant. I bought something that I've wanted since I was a kid, but for some reason, no one has ever bought me one. I guess I know why, because I'm really the only person in our family that likes this. I bought yeah. a WWE wrestling ring, and it is fantastic. <laughs> and I love it. And it's sitting there right there, right to my left. I've, and and way back, I think it was, uh, I don't know, it was Groomsman or something bought me some wrestling. Katrin, do you remember this? I don't know if you remember this. Maybe. Somehow I got a hold of an Undertaker and a Stone Cold from 
guys. Yeah, I don't know. Like yeah. me, I, I don't get you anything. I think it was, on a cake. it was on a cake or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That so I dug seems... them out of a box, and I've got them in the ring over here, and it's fun. I just want to, <laughs> I just want to sit there. And now, are you, play are, you, are you actively playing with the figures in the ring, or have you just posed them statically? I've posed them, and I've taken pictures of them. And edited <laughs> the pictures. And... <laughs> it's pretty sad. <laughs> got spider-man versus a ring race yeah. but to, so but i was like you know i i was a big wcw guy so so today i was at a, uh, the dentist and across the street there's a guy twirling a sign that said toys r us express closing 80 percent off and i'm like okay i'm going to this hmm. so i went and i hooked this guy up and i'm so excited where's the camera i can't uh, see myself so Sting. Sting. Yeah, he doing his time in the police. Yes. <laughs> man called Sting. Um, so I'm going to have Sting and Undertaker battle, the dream match. To end all dream, dream match. Is it? Is yeah, it, a dream it never match? happened. Everybody always Everybody? wanted Sting and Undertaker to wrestle, but they really? were in different organizations. I didn't know. Uh, yeah. So Sting. Yeah, this is the old school Sting. This is the. Yeah, the brightly colored the, Sting. The, it's not the crow the Sting. Blonde it's the blonde tips. The California but, surfer. But dude. you're gonna yes. you're gonna open it though, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I'll I'll yeah. open it right now if you do it. To right you. now. This is oh. Enough. oh this is it only cost me three dollars, so this is huge on the internet. It's an yeah. unboxing. We're unboxing an unboxing on a podcast. Everybody <laughs> listen intently. <laughs> well, listen, here we go. Everybody turn your sound up. Here you want to hear this. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh the humanity. So, oh, you opened up all wrong. It's so satisfying. It was three dollars. I don't care. You're supposed to get like a knife and like and kind of cut around the edge, no, I don't have a knife. Yeah. so you don't pull up all the paper. Look yeah. at this. And that way you keep it intact. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> gets it. look at those yeah. muscles. He's got a he's got a six pack. Wow. Yeah. He's his arm's supposed to bend. There it is. Ooh. Fully posable. watching watching you right now is like watching five year old Brian right yeah. now, and I'm, lo- and I'm loving he's it. Shaking, I think. Too. <laughs> it's like, oh, I think he's shaking. I've always wanted str- to stressed. I got my Sting. <laughs> you know that Sting has the rights to the name Sting, not the singer. <laughs> really? There you go. Yeah. The original. Yeah, the man called Sting. There he is. He's not wrestling anymore. A good-looking figure. It is for three dollars. I mean, this, yeah. it was regularly like thirteen dollars or something. Wow. I went to Toys R Us uh, this week as well in Memphis, and ours is—it's like nothing happened. It's, it's full of everything, and yeah. the 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 lowest or highest percentage I saw was thirty percent off, and most but most things were like ten percent. And I was like, yeah. really? Are you not trying to close? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, so, that's what most of it is here too. Is like yeah, here that, outside like it says thirty to forty yeah. percent, but everything is like around ten percent or whatever. See, I got see, I didn't get me a wrestler. I got, I got, I got me a vision. <laughs> He's oh, got a vision, man. folks. Chris it's it's, it's vision. Yeah, it's a vision. It's, it's not the <laughs> it's, great it's, vision. <laughs> no, it's not the great vision. Um, the colored vision. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna play wrestling for the. Uh, episode anyways so that got me thinking like hey you know we sort of grew up like i was born in 78 um chris you were born in 81 Mm -hmm. we sort of grew up in the 80s 90s uh toy era and i thought you know i mean it was sort of the i don't know if i'd call it the golden age of toys but but it was but it was was. we grew up in there where (laughs) it wasn't just a action figure but action figure with a cartoon or with a movie, and, and it really, you know, blew up and it was just crazy. There's a show on Netflix called The Toys That Made Us. Um, if you haven't watched it, I, I suggest you watch it. Uh, not a sponsor, or maybe they are a sponsor. I don't know. You decide. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. <laughs> uh, which I watched, and I feel like I'm doing all the talking. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I watched you usually do. It's more okay. of them the other day. <laughs> and uh, it was sort I mean, it was sort of depressing. Um, it <laughs> totally took the magic out of it for me because especially the masters of the universe, when you find out really? why, why it was made and how they're just like, like one of the lines that was said over and over again, uh, we knew we could tell the, those pea brain kids, whatever we want to. And they believe us. 
And it was just like, really? Oh. <laughs> so it's not that we wanted that. to give yeah. joy that's, to children. It was like, we want the money, and this is how we're going to make it. No. <laughs> that's the business side of it, which yeah. unfortunately yeah. is going to be there anyway. But what was fascinating to me in watching all this stuff was uh, really from, I think, the design aspect that oh, yeah. you had mm-hmm. these artists – uh, and even with like the He-Man series that they came up with like a a Bible of uh, like the story arcs and all the things, the, the yeah. mythos and lore and, and all these drawings. I thought that was oh, uh, no, really that fascinating. Oh, that was totally to cool. It was just the... Uh, mm-hmm. the you parts. didn't want to be called a pea brain. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> like really? <laughs> like the other one, like uh, the G.I. Joe one was maybe my favorite one. Um, it was Me really good. good. The Star Wars one was good. good. Yeah, the Barbie one's actually pretty interesting. I haven't got to watch the to watch Barbie that. one yet. Yeah. Um, just the history behind that, where it came from. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> the lawsuits. Yeah, the, all the lawsuits and the the founder getting taken out and then brought back in and everything. It's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'll have to watch that one. But season two comes out at the end of the month. Yes, it What's, does. Do they say what? I've not watched any previews uh, for it. I think oh, Star, uh, Transformers. I think, yeah, Transformers. <laughs> Um. Then, uh, what else was there? They have an image. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember what it. Oh, this is good. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Lego Transformers, Hello yeah. Kitty, and Star Trek. Yes. And like already, <laughs> the Star Trek one looks interesting because like it in the preview it showed like yeah we weren't really making anything Star Trek we were just grabbing toys that are already made and just slapping stickers from Star Trek on them and yeah. selling them. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them did that. A lot of them. <laughs> Giving uh, Captain Kirk some action packed hair. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the trigger on the back and his gut sucks in. <laughs> Let it go and it push Karate back. action hair. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> well, he's here. Anyways, so I thought we could, you know, first sort of start out and. Uh, see where it takes us we could go around and sort of say uh like our favorite toys growing up and then if we have time we'll get into you know what made which toys sort of the best that we think is the best and what made some toys <laughs> that could have been good really bad and all that stuff so and we and we could talk about it it doesn't just have to be the star wars and the gi joe we can talk about the uh as we mentioned on our facebook uh, group i am group uh, food fighters or fuck your hair or, or whoever, whatever. <laughs> uh, because there's a lot, I mean, I can remember a lot of toys that we had looking back now going, what was, what was that? <laughs> yeah. I remember Why? specifically hanging out at, at like sleepovers at Chris's house and seeing all these different action figures and toys that I never had that he did that, kind of blew my mind that he, that he had like one in question was like i had the real you know ghostbusters you know action figures you know the uh, you know egon and all them and but chris had the original ghostbusters yes. that, from i think it was hanna barbera uh or uh, uh no filmation it was filmation filmation, yeah, filmation. filmation. Yeah. and i'm like i had no idea they had that series oh, but that uh great like we had like almost everything from that. We had the actual like car yeah. that would like transform into like a plane. The front would flip out, so like the ghost image on the front would be popping out. We had the monkey. Uh, it was, <laughs> um, what is it? A, a, a gorilla. It was a gorilla. Yeah. And uh, and then yeah, the blonde haired guy and the uh, I don't know if we had the the, the other sidekick guy. He's kind of the doofus guy. That was Do you almost still have like those? the Dan Aykroyd. Um, either I do or you do. Um, I the do. car we may not have because, like, our parents would yeah. eventually. Because, like, you guys got too many toys, you got to sell them <laughs> and put them in like a garage sale. Like, pick pick out the ones you don't play with anymore and put them in the garage sale. I still think that's what happened to my Millennium Falcon. They deny it, it deny it, deny it. What the heck's an <laughs> aluminum falcon? Aluminum falcon. <laughs> it's like a bird that's made out of aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> your leftover sandwiches like wrappers but, delicious but, the, but like some of that could still be at their house because well, like I, they I don't just have the, took stuff and yeah. shoved it in places i don't have the original left. ghostbusters i don't think i can look but I, I did find this one 
There you go. Yeah. Yeah, there's good old yeah, Egon. Hey, that's hey, that's mine. Uh, no, it's not. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you left it at our parents' house too long, and now it's mine. It's got all four of them in here with their proton packs. I think oh, I saw yeah. a Slimer somewhere. Now, not all of these were yours. I think two of them yeah. were yours, and two of them were mine. We would we would tend to split things up. Um, you had um, Egon and uh, Venkman. Yeah, and then mine were uh, the other two. Gray and uh, Gray, uh, Winston. Winston. Gray and Winston. That's <laughs> we kind of like. It was the same with the Ninja Turtles. You were always Michelangelo and Donatello, and I was always Leonardo and Raphael. Yeah. I think yeah. I got the better end of that deal, but no, whatever. I love Michelangelo <laughs> and Donatello. They were my favorite. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I always were. Ba- I was always baffled by Egon, though. Like the rest of them, sort of look. I mean, sort of look like they're. Actors, but Egon was like nowhere near. Are you talking about like uh, Harold Ramis's actual character, yeah. or like his hair and the fact that Egon's got blonde hair in the cartoon? Is that it? Yeah, just the design. Look, look at him; he doesn't look like Harold Ramis at all. He, I don't. The one that's a um, mullet, but no, a rat tail. Yeah, the one that really struck me was was Ray. For me, I didn't think Ray looked anything like Dan Aykroyd. Well, no. Uh, I could try to get. They're a little sticky. I don't know why. Well, they're older and that plastic because yeah. it it was probably stored in a place where it kind of got a little hot. Right. This is, our, it's our the same with our Ninja Turtles. This. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ray's pretty bad too. Yeah, Ray doesn't look like Peter. He's, Peter's okay. I mean, he's not perfect, but this was their younger years, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny though how they, you know, that they did that because this wasn't, you know, one of the most popular movies of the '80s. But for the cartoon, they sort of kept the same names but changed how they look. Mm-hmm. Ran the pizza in there too. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the Ecto one. That pizza was probably from. It's kind of a bite out of it. Pizza Maybe yeah, I think it's from Slimer. Oh yeah, we had Slimer because he came with like food that had bits yeah. chewed out of him. Like you've been eating them. I've almost given away all the toys that I had brought out. Wrestling figures. I got one more over here. I got all kinds of them right now. Katrin, what 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 action figures or toy lines did you have growing up or get to you know uh, play with? We uh, I, we had a bunch of GI Joe stuff, uh, of course, and uh, a bunch of He Man. Uh, it was more me than my brother. My brothers four years older than me and wasn't as much into toys. He had some, he had some cool GI Joe stuff, but I don't think he was into it as much, but I, yeah, definitely had, um, uh, lots of GI Joes. I, after I grew up a little bit more and and didn't have as many of the things, I guess, but I kept, I kept a box of GI Joes and they became, uh, my, um, I was big into wrestling at the time and it was my, uh, wrestling uh, association or something. I don't know. I'd, I'd pull out the shoebox and they would become <laughs> wrestlers. And uh, that was a lot of fun. But I, uh, yeah, I had, I had all the He-Man castles. And, uh, nice. Uh, That's awesome. Some of the, a couple, yeah. I, I actually had a, um, a vehicle. I had the Tigers that they rode on, but there was a, mm-hmm. a vehicle that um, had tracks on it and it would flop. Like a tech track. Yeah. Yeah. That thing was pretty cool. Um, but most of mine had their fingers were chewed on because I would just chew on their hands for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I had flat hands. It's like, ah. <laughs> they can never hold the swords. Yeah. Um, and then we had Voltron. I had the, the um, uh, all the, you know, the lions or whatever they are, oh, and you nice. put them all together into this big robot uh, thing, you know, the Voltron, right, or whatever. And uh, that, was, that was super cool. We also had this, I don't know if it was a knockoff or it was a, different series but it was these cars go bots no 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 well we had i did have some go bots um but no this was but it was on the same line as voltron looking thing it's like you put these cars together to make this big robot thing so i I, I don't remember much about it but i just remember it had it must have been a knockoff or something but but it could have been a variation too i don't know but was was it like um, the constructicons from no, transformers? transformers it was it, it was like voltron it, huh. it made uh, a big robot i don't know I, that's that's all power, right power rangers you had power rangers <laughs> 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 was this uh, last year 
<laughs> yeah, it was old. I don't remember a whole lot about it. But I just remember there were cars you put together, at least, or at least the feet were cars. Uh, it could have been totally something, totally different. But I just remember it being the same time we had the Voltron thing that was pretty big, uh, and then we had this one that was cars um, of some sort. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, gotcha. uh, yeah those are the main I don't. I, I want to say that we had even some Thundercats, but I don't. I, yes, I did have one Thundercat. The um, Lion-O, the main character, right? Uh, oh, yeah. His sword, I remember that. But I think that's all the Thundercats we had. But. Yeah, we didn't really have many Thundercats. I, we had, like, the off characters for Thundercats. Like, we had, like, the the Yeti one. <laughs> so, was, like, uh, was, was it <laughs> Snarf? No, it wasn't Snarf. Like, we, I think we had some, or, like, pencil toppers that was Snarf. But, no, it was like a, it was like a Yeti. <laughs> It was like a he had a big blue suit on and he had like uh, brown fur on his face. Wow. Um, I don't and he was just, having any thundercats. Wasn't Panthro. That wouldn't no, happen. it wasn't Panthro. Um, but yeah, I don't. It was all right. Hammer uh, hands? Had a bunch of hammer hands? Oh, here we, yeah. It's his name is Snowman. I think. <laughs> Snowman. There you go. We had him because I think right here. Hold on. Is, it, is that his name? Snow. His name is Snowman. Why would it be Snowman? Why not? Well, maybe, it, maybe his name is Yeti. It's this guy. I remember him. Yeah, we had him. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Because I think what would happen, because we'd have... Like, oh, no, his name's Yeti. Guy, his name's Yeti. His name was Yeti. Oh, okay. Because we would um, go to our grandparents or whatever, and there was like a like a cheap toy store that had like random toys like that. It was almost like an overflow, overstock oh. type thing. And they'd be really cheap, and our grandparents were like, oh, get your toy. And so it was just like characters like that, and we didn't have anything else from that. I'll take that back. Okay. Snowman. His name's Snowman. The name is Snowman. Okay. There he is yeah, in his see, package. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, that see, guy. See, with my family, my, my, my older brother was five years older, so he had Transformers and Voltron, and he had G.I. Joe. I And he had a few He-Man characters or He-Man characters. I, I came in and got the tail end of of some of those figures of, of mm-hmm. He-Man and did Thundercats. And the stuff that I grew up with was kind of living vicariously through my older brother. And he had some, some action figures that terrified the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, do you remember the cartoon called Inhumanoids? Yes. It sounds so, familiar. It was like these three subterranean monsters uh, that were trapped underneath the core of the earth. And one was called Decompose. And he was a giant skeleton. And this cartoon was horrific. But anyway, my brother had all all, all these characters and he would torment me with them. I watched the series like a couple years ago to start to finish. And it's amazing. Horrifying for a <laughs> Saturday Saturday morning cartoon, but the oh, action geez, figures yeah. were super cool. Like, oh God, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> it's like dripping blood. He's dripping, <laughs> and he tur- and he turns humans into decomposing zombies with the touch of his finger, and it oh, it's horrifying. <laughs> There's an episode where they fight the Statue of Liberty. Wait, so this is the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 80s but yeah no we we had some just bizarre random action figures growing up and uh <laughs> I, I remember uh like watching like fox kids club cartoons and oh. and that's where like the i i posted that picture of the attack of the killer tomatoes <laughs> a, a thing that was random and <laughs> and uh the bucky o'hare stuff and the food fighters like Food, not Dave Grohl's Food Fighters. Food, <laughs> <laughs> which would be cool. Dave Grohl. That's really yeah, cool. Like the name, right? Yeah, figures. Um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I remember those Food Fighters. Those, <laughs> was just that was a great. I, I, it was like I guess like around the time of Ninja Turtles it was one of those things. Like we take an object or animal or something and then match it up with some form of fighting. Right. And, right. And so there's a bunch of stuff like that. And the uh, yeah, I liked I liked the pizza. It had like one eye because it had an eye patch over the other eye. A pepperoni eye patch. Pepperoni, yeah, pepperoni eye patch. And for some reason, I really liked the the drumstick. Do you remember liking the drumstick? Yeah, a yeah. Because uh, <laughs> uh, he had that little he had a little hat 
Yeah, yeah the bad guys had the giant the drums. Hat. Oh yeah, the bad guys had black hats, and then the good guys had green hats. Yeah, I like the talking so, guy. <laughs> talking so do, guy do you think the toys that we grew up with are better? Were more creatively designed then than what they what they have been. What they have now? Yeah. Oh yeah, the ones we had. Yeah. Were. I don't, and I don't think it's just because of nostalgia, because if you go back and look at them, like I think I, I mentioned last week on the Infinity Wars, the Infinity War toy line out now looks like it's from a Dollar General. It's the, it's horrible. It's just like yeah. weird plastic put together to say this is Iron Man, and it's like those ones you see like a like a Euro, in Europe. It's like hey, it's uh, the yeah. Justice League, and it's got like just random figures in there that have been painted oddly, and it's just like it's uh, yeah. There's a Batman, and he's yellow. <laughs> and... I think we had a yellow Batman. Oh, back to the Food Fighters oh, just real quick. Of... Food Fighters were 1988, and they were one of the few toy lines that didn't have a cartoon or comic or anything. And that's yeah. one of the reasons why they think that they only lasted for like a year is because they didn't have any tie-ins because people were like, what are these things and why should we play with them? Uh, <laughs> but the good guys were the kitchen commandos and <laughs> the bad guys were refrigerator rejects. Oh, uh, that reminds me because around that same time there was the barnyard commandos. Yes. yes. Yeah. I remember the, <laughs> the like seeing a cow that had, you know, like a bunch of Uzis or something, or like yeah. something that went Sheep. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a ton of them. Those were fun. <laughs> I don't like those. Yeah, it's just yeah, another one of those random ones. I don't think it had any tie-ins or whatever, so it probably I think lasted about about the same as the uh, Food Fighters. But even the but, Food Fighters, they look pretty cool. They don't look, you know, they they look fun. They don't look just like random blobs of plastic that they've painted eyes on and said, "Here's this guy." It looks like a taco. It looks like a thing of fries. Um, <laughs> even the Star Wars, like I haven't bought a uh, just a regular Star Wars action figure in a, in years because they just don't look good anymore. Mm. They don't look anything mm. like the characters. They just look like random. Um, it, the, most of them look like uh, Clay Man from Batman was trying to pretend to be Princess Leia, so he molded himself into Princess Leia. Uh, sorry, Clayface? Clayface, whatever. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Right. No, Clay Man, he's from the European Batman. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, okay. That, yeah. That's legit. That does sound legit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, they just don't, they're not, like, I'm looking at some of my Star Wars figures in front of me, which. Are, these right here are still in the package, um, and they look de- they look good. They look decent. Um, and this okay, is, but com- compare the original Star now, Wars line yes. with yeah the original Star Wars line <laughs> um, gets slack for me because it was one of the original action figure t- movie tie-in lines that mm-hmm. you know. It was starting out. They didn't really know what they were doing. Um, I mean, Luke had three different colors of hair, I think. <laughs> you know what figure you got. Uh, his lightsaber was yellow in the first one, I think. Uh, so they get slack because it was the first coming out. But, you know, when we got to by... Um, I, know, I know by Return of the Jedi, they've gotten a lot better. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a whole debacle about how all the mess ups and stuff that happened when they originally came out with Star Wars um, action figures. How they came out with a piece of cardboard, saying you'll get them later. Oh yeah. But, you know, <laughs> speaking been, of yeah. cardboard, speaking of cardboard, the, the one of the things I I tried to collect for a while. Do you remember on the GI Joes? It had like an index card oh, on the yeah. back, we and had it was lots like, of them. yeah, you could put them in a box and like leaf through them, right? <laughs> like, oh, look at this guy. I've got all the info on. <laughs> whatever <laughs> yeah they did that for transformers too yeah. i think yeah they, they cool. had like the power levels for the transformers um they did um at one point they did a thing with the transformers where they had like a, a clear plastic like red like a red clear plastic uh, yeah. that you would yeah. slide yeah. over yeah, yeah you'd slide over and it'd be like a secret oh this is the yeah. power level and stuff nice 
True. And even I, the He-Man figures did like the yeah, like the comic the mini comic book built yeah. in yeah. You know, the packaging. Yeah. Yeah, those were good. Yeah, I, I had really one. Much anymore. I had one um, transformer, uh, and it was the most difficult thing to transform. It was uh, Starscream. <laughs> That's all of them. <laughs> I know. It's probably then than now. I don't. I, guess, I would guess. I don't know. But um, man, Starscream was so hard. I, I don't. That's the only one I had. And I, I, it was cool, and but it took forever to try to figure out how to to yeah, transform it. We had a lot of broken we, ones. That's I think. I mean, yeah, we had a lot of broken ones. <laughs> I don't think we had any like the main. I don't, we we didn't have an Optimus until later, yeah. um, in the '90s when they started doing um, like a next generation type thing and releasing them. Then I got right. an Optimus, but the original stuff we didn't have any of those because those were the more expensive ones. Oh uh, yeah, like, I brought since like, we're on Transformers. Parts. I broke out one that I've kept many many years. Uh, it's in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Wrapped in newspaper. Keep wrapped in newspaper. Plastic. Because it's so like <laughs> delicate. They were so delicate. I don't even know who this dude is. Oh, um But I don't remember who he is. But um, he's like a race car. Is that jazz? No. No. It's got sin- Listeners, if you know who this is, tell us. It's got <laughs> by, the, <laughs> by the sound of it. him fiddling with it. Yeah. What is it? It's like a <laughs> Uh, Aqua Blue. Formula One car or something. He's an Autobot. It's a Formula One car. It's got 26 C I T A N E S on it. Bet you could Google it. Mirage. It's Mirage. Mirage. Yes, yes. I think this That's one's like was. actually worth some money now. If it was like an actual. <laughs> oh, it broke. <laughs> but yeah. But it's missing, it's missing his back fin. Spoiler. Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, He's missing it. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> I don't want to try to transform him because I'm afraid he just fall apart. Probably uh, so. But the only cool. only transformer I think I personally had myself apart from when the the new like the reprints came out in the you know the '90s was I think I only had like the Shark Decon, and he was that Ooh, character oh, from the yeah. movie, uh, the movie, and then they had you know the the series catch up you know with it, but he had that. You know, shiny, gaping maw of teeth, mm-hmm. those big, bulbous eyes, and he had like this tail that would detach, and it was like a mace. It yeah. that was pretty cool. I think I remember you having that. That thing was cool. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had we had a bunch of stuff. Um, one of the, we had one of the bigger transformers, which was the giant uh, T Rex, like dinosaur that would transform into a city. Now, how many oh. times did we did we transform him? Uh. I try, no, he was actually easier to transform. All he, all he was, did was just okay. Like, I don't think he was the city open. one. Then. Was he? There no. was another one they had that was big, right? It was there like was Omega Supreme that we did not transform because it was so impossible to transform. I it had like that. the track around it. Did it have like like the track? Like the it was like it was almost like a battle city. The 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 T Rex dinosaur, and all it did was like the two sides would open up, and you just kind of lay them down. And that's <laughs> kind of how he transformed. Um, there was something like that for uh, I think it was GoBots that uh, that I had that looked like an ATAT. Now, I wish yeah. I still had this thing, but it had um, y- you would you would set it on its butt basically, and you could open up the back or the front or whatever. It had a, it had a, um, a an elevator in the middle of it. I guess it was GoBots. I say that's what I remember it being. But it had um, a cool. Um, like red light on it or something. Um, I need to figure out what that thing was because I, I man, I forgot about that. It reminded me of that when you said it opened up and all that. Yeah, the yeah. one I was Trypticon. There he is. You see yeah, and that's the newer one. That's one of the that's well, a redone but that's, one. Well, but that's, um, but yeah, that's that's what we had. And yeah, I think it it had batteries <laughs> and it, it would actually walk forward. That's the new one. Uh, that's the new. That's not what we had. It um, looked like that. I know it looked <laughs> like that. It, yeah, it looked pretty much like that. Um, we had a line. Line. Oh, here's how it, here's how it opened up, and then we'll move on. Uh, <laughs> it opened up like that. Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah right. Oh, right. yeah, it's that's super like, cool. What? It's like a look. I don't know. Runway. Looks what, like what, it was, what was the name of it again for the listeners? Uh, Trypticon. T R Y P T I C O N. T Rex. Trypticon T Rex. It's yeah. what's in uh, what's in Turkey it makes you sleepy. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. I think so. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> But we did have a lot of GoBots. I remember we had the the rock ones. Well, those weren't GoBots. Yeah. Oh. Are you sure? I thought the they rocks. were. Yeah, they were rocks. Yeah. 
I've, I've nugget. Robots? I've got one somewhere. I had the gold uh, nugget. Is that what yeah. you remember? Yeah. Yeah, we had nugget. And we had, I thought somewhere. that was something else. No, I think they were GoBots. I'm looking it up. Oh, there we go. This is okay. Google. This, this but, episode yeah. is sponsored by Google. <laughs> <laughs> GoBots nope. Battle of the Rock Lords. Okay, Rock oh. Lords. I was thinking Rock Lords. So they are GoBots. Okay. Yeah, we had a bunch of those. We had yeah. duplicates of those. Yeah. Crazy. Because again, yeah. I think it's just like they'd be people on sale would, or something. People just give us like stuff. Yeah. Our relatives would get us like sure. the cheap sale toys. But those are fun. I had Nugget so, and a motorcycle of some sort. That's all I had of GoBots. I was it that mm-hmm. white little character that had like the, the the arms that would pop out that would turn into like the the Possibly. cycle? Oh, that's yeah. mask. No, was that mask? No, See, that I, I get that mixed up. GoBot. Yeah. I, but it, I was uh, thinking it was green, but I, but the go but the mask motorcycle was green, so I could be getting the two. But it was a it was a GoBot motorcycle of some sort. Because because the mask line had like the had, there was the kid and he had like a robot, I'm and it would transform mask. into like a, a scooter that he would jump on. Yeah, it was uh, white. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there was a GoBot that was um, scooter, or he was like a scooter. Yeah, it was red. He was a red little scooter. Was, we had him. Up yeah. There. We had that one. I love that one. Some of these uh, rock lords just like, look like giant turds. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much that's what they were. Mom, you got me a turd. Don't worry, it transforms <laughs> into a robot, son. Oh, here's the ATAT thing. Especially, especially the one that's like, there's one, and yeah, I always thought he looked weird. And he was a good guy. I was like, why is this guy a good guy? Because he was, oh, uh, yeah, I remember that yeah. thing. Yeah. It, lo- it was like yeah, a big ATAT. Oh, my yeah, God. It has a big, like, awesome. weird face. Uh, there was this one guy. That he was kind of a grayish rock, <laughs> yeah, and the top of his head was shaped like a brain, and he had these big bug eyes. So it was like an alien that like dressed up as a rock. That's so bizarre. <laughs> so <laughs> weird. You gotta. Um, I mean, it would be funny to to just sit in a room when people were designing these things because you know they had to be like on something. <laughs> More than likely. Uh, well, let's, let's have a dookie rock. Rock and sell it to kids. Well, there's a um, <laughs> this might have been that uh, Voltron like thing I was talking about. It's a GoBot that. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. that might have been it. I don't know. Yeah, a bunch That's of cars. Cool. Yeah. I um, apologize to our listeners. I know you can't see any of this stuff. <laughs> that was terrible. Look it up. Maybe I'll try <laughs> one day to get this a... on YouTube, and you can like look at us looking at pictures. That is bad. <laughs> you're gonna have, you're gonna have to do like a thumbnail with like all the series and links to all these things that we're talking about. You will. It's an interactive episode. Do your own research. <laughs> yeah, do your research. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to find uh, Google it. I th- I think um, I know we weren't we're not doing like the best one or whatever, but I think no, my can. favorite is is got to be GI Joe, and because of the card. Because of all the cool weapons that they had and the the outfits that they had, um, like uh, barbecue comes to mind. You know, oh, he's got yeah. this cool like you know um, the guy. What was the guy that, um, that? Well, there's like an albino guy or what was that one guy? Zartan. Zartan. Zartan's, Zartan's what I'm thinking of. And he like changed, changed colors. colors. What, yeah, yeah. yeah when you put him in the sun. <laughs> and uh, that, so it was like they had these really cool concepts and these figures, and it was, um, but. All of these different things you could do with them and, and get with them, and the, the, all the vehicles. Oh, and, the vehicles are so cool. And, oh, yeah. You know, I, we, we didn't have a ton of that stuff. I, I did have, the, I think the, the coolest vehicle I had um, was the Sergeant Slaughter's um, big, I want to say Warthog, but it was like this big, uh, big thing. Oh, was tank? it? It's like a tank. It was, like a, it was huge. Um, and you could put a lot of people inside of it. Um, now I don't think it was the hovercraft. I may have had that too, but the, I think it was called the warthog. But it, it, it was really cool. Um, uh, but anyways, I, just my point is, is they they had the coolest things, and the, the thing that I wanted the most, even more than the aircraft carrier, which I know you guys had. You've mentioned it twice on the show. But, <laughs> oh, we had the aircraft. Carrier. We had the aircraft carrier. It was. Hey, did you long. guys have the aircraft? Carrier? Uh, we had the aircraft. I still have it. Yeah, oh. Ryan still has it. It's in my the garage. One that I- <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna mess this up because I, I should have prepared this of what here's, it's called. Here's, uh, is this what slaughter? Was, a, was this what a slaughter? Flying, uh, sorry, did you mention yeah. slaughter? Is that it? No, that's not it. it no, was that, we had that. That's slaughter's that triple I'll have to T. Look it up. No, I'll look it up and well, it'll be a fun moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a warthog. Here you go. But the thing that I wanted 
Yeah, man, I I remember I remember it being way bigger than that, but that's also because I was tiny, I'm sure. So, um, but the one that I wanted the most, it's just a small it, sickly child. Was the, I believe it was called was it called the Sky Fox or Air Fox? Um, and I didn't know anybody that had it. I don't remember what it was called, but it we had, it had it. these. Yeah. <laughs> it was a cool flying vehicle that didn't really have wings. It wasn't a helicopter, but it was shaped kind of like a helicopter, and it had these. Um, engines that would turn it so it could go straight up and then oh, go out. The Cobra um, one? Is it Cobra? Uh, I don't think it's Cobra. I think it was G.I. Joe. Oh. But I think what really made those those toys were, were two things. Two was um, all the cool, well, three things, all the cool stuff. Um, the Sears catalog at oh, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the cartoons, of course, because, you know, it's like I can reenact all of the stuff that I just saw. And, you know, and um, I had a misconception of lasers for the longest time because I, <laughs> I thought that they would load their guns with these little red pieces and put them in their guns. Because when you watch the cartoon, it's it's like hyphens. that You're, you're shooting at each other. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, man, I guess sure got a lot of those things. You know? But uh, <laughs> And they're just like zooming past everybody. Everybody's terrible shooting each other. Which reminds me, did y'all see the? There was a video somebody made of somebody actually getting killed on GI Joe, and they and uh, they, was, you know, just a fan video. I was like, oh no, you, you killed him. You know, it was terrible. It was because they were all mad at him because he killed somebody. It's like you're not supposed to. Kill him. But um, but yeah, the the you know the cartoon made you want to buy more. The, um, the catalogs made you want to buy more, and then the, all the cool stuff. But I'll try to find that. That um, who was your favorite GI Joe figure? Man, that's a good question. I don't know if I had a favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's see if I can look <laughs> up my favorite. My, my favorite is really random, and I still to this day do not know why this guy was my favorite. Let's see if I can find. I don't remember so, the name. So did you guys when you played with them, did you make the noises for the for the guns <laughs> going off? Well of course you got to. Uh, okay, I was just, I just wondering I just want, do you remember the noise that you would make? <laughs> I don't think that was Jeez, wow. that's that's other noises you make. All right, so do you guys want to Okay, I got I know oh. what my favorite one is. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh Snake Eyes. Uh Snake Eyes was snake the original eyes. Snake Eyes uh figure was my favorite um any of the karate ones because that was big in the 80s right was karate yeah. kid which cobra kai shout out to cobra kai um <laughs> they, you know, all of that those kind of things break dancing, break dancing karate and skateboarding were big and you know in the 80s and 90s i guess and uh, uh but i, I love quick kick storm shadow and snake eyes those were probably the the best and uh, snake eyes is the one they ran out of money to make well, they just made them all black, thinking yeah. nobody would like yeah. them. Then he became the favorite one. And so then, here's my favorite G.I. Joe, and I have no earthly idea why he was my favorite. And somehow his hand even got set, his got melted, and I still love them. I think he got set by a heater. Oh, his hand yeah. melted. But I, I still, still love him. Dial tone. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Look at all that stuff. He's got a backpack that he could put on to make calls. Yeah. Uh, he's got a cool machine gun, I guess. Um, he's, he's got, got grenades on it, and he's got a beret. Yeah, all oh, the beret. I like this. Had like, me at beret. Sick mustache. I'm like, I have no real idea, but I remember I would always make him like the main guy, and he would do all the cool stuff, and like <laughs> Duke and everybody else would just be like secondary characters. And he was handicapped too, with a burned arm. I know. Dial tone, he like he just he didn't care. He what, had, he had a of, swivel arm battle grip. Ooh. One of my favorite ones was a was a Cobra guy. And I don't again, it was another one of these random ones. Um and I don't even understand his name. Uh <laughs> Big Big oh, Boa. Yeah, yes. Yeah, he goes a guy, and he's, man, he's he was, a cobra trainer. He's yeah. wearing the boxing he this, like, gloves. <laughs> he had this like mechanical mask thing on yes. for some reason. There was like spikes on it, and then he had boxing gloves. I just like that the boxing gloves. You can take them yeah. off, put them on. I was like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that, that was one of the best ones. I forgot about that one because yeah, yeah, you could take your gloves off. Man, you never hold a yeah. gun though. You always had those oh. gloves on. <laughs> I, oh, I, gloves off. I still have all of these like in big, huge Ziploc bags. 
But the thing about GI Joes is that they were yeah. held together by these little rubber bands that rotted over time. Yes. Yeah. So Especially all of them are them just apart. like yeah, all of all of the ones I have are just like dangle like crazy because they're just barely hanging together. Um, one we day to I'm going to take them apart the, and fix them. Yeah, we used to, I, or I did. I I, I um, would switch the legs with another one because you could you just hook the rubber band back in there. But it's like quick kicks legs were on somebody else and blast. Uh, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, so that was cool. But, but I, yeah, we would mess up the rubber bands because we would twist them as far as we could, and then they would spin around like you put their arms out, and like you know, it's like they're hitting it's doing, windmill kicks. Yeah. <laughs> I think okay, so Skyhawk is the name of the vehicle. I don't remember it looking like this exactly, but um, sorry, I got oh, okay. on the camera. Yeah, um, it's like I, a, I it looks like it. a helicopter, but it's got like jet engines. Yeah, yeah jets instead mm-hmm. of yeah, and it, yeah, so it, it looks super cool um, when I remembered it, but not as cool to now. But I love the. Uh, it was like a. Oh, it was called Avalanche. It was like a snowmobile. They had, yes. this, like, they had this rocket that would shoot off the back, but they would hold somebody in it. Yeah, and the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I remember a different one. There was another snow one that we had that had, like, um, skis in the front of it and tracks in the back. Yeah. And the characters would, like, lay down in the front of it, I think. Well, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Lay down on their stomachs? Wait, hold on. Remember that one. <laughs> this is terrible. Didn't we have Avalanche? Which one did we have? Whichever I don't one think we, we had, had that one. We had the other one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe this is the one we have. Snowcat? Snowcat. Is this it? Man, that thing. No. Off. No, that's yeah. not. Uh, I think we had really this good. one, though, because it's, got the, ski, it's got the ski things on the side. This one's okay. under a list called the 20 Stupidest G.I. Joe Vehicles Ever. <laughs> this is the one we had. Snowcat, because they had okay. the rocket sleds on the side. Yeah, yeah. that was fun. Yeah. I love G.I. Joe. I I think I had this thing. It's a, dr- oh, a tank, oh, bridge one. and it, you can make a bridge out of it. It was yeah. oh my god! This, our was, listeners that's... are either going to love this episode or they're going to absolutely hate it because we're just sitting here going, "Look at this we're, picture." We're trying to describe them though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> GI uh, Joe was just one of those toy series that the the kid in the eighties is just like the coolest thing ever. Uh, I, I did like GI Joe a lot. Uh, I, you were more GI Joe though than oh, I yeah. was. Um, one of my big ones was definitely the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because uh, that was just that was that hit me right at the time where I was like really interested in the show, all and the toys pizza. coming out, the movies, everything. It just got gone, bombarded with Ninja Turtles everywhere. Pizza became my favorite food uh, <laughs> because, of because of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it was just like uh, just the toys were so random and just so crazy um, that I had some of the weirdest characters. There was Pizza Face, who was a villain. He was a <laughs> chef, <laughs> and he had like a he had like a peg leg or something that was stuck in a pizza box. As one and does, he, yeah, as one does. He was just really disgusting looking. It was just uh, there was like um, there was a guy that just he was. He, he had arms and legs, but his body was just uh, 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 like a, a fish tank <laughs> kind of thing. And his brain and eyes and everything were floating on the inside. And you could actually fill them up with water and then put little things in there and they'd float around in there. Uh, there's just some of the weirdest ones. And there's, uh, there's a kangaroo who was like stereotypical Australian... <laughs> Like dress and everything, he's like, "Oh, good day, Mike." And everything. Was, he didn't talk, but that's how I talked with him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I never had any turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I always wanted Casey Jones. Like I thought that was. Cool. Oh, yeah. We had a Casey Jones. He was cool. Like even the even like the people looked a little disfigured <laughs> in those lines. Like Casey Jones didn't. He looked like he had like he was living on the streets for a while. Um, <laughs> he needed some help. He um, was living on the streets for a while, right? Oh, well, that's, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, so, you know, screen accurate or cartoon accurate or whatever. Yeah, and there were <laughs> and there were decent sized toys too. A lot of times anymore, the toys that you see, like the extra figures, are kind of smaller, 
and they were like decent sized toys, so that meant the vehicles were huge. Yeah. So yeah. like the party wagon for the Ninja Turtles was giant. You can fit all four of them plus more in there. Uh, we had we had the pizza thrower that actually shot out discs of pizza. Nice. It was probably pretty dangerous, but we still used it anyway. Um, but it's just I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff with the Ninja Turtles that I loved. So why do you think the toys that we grew up with that were cool today, the same uh, franchise are just not as good? I think for me back in the 80s, I think a lot of the mentality was we got to create a cartoon to to sell this product and and have a toy line to go with it. And I was susceptible to that because I guess I was a pea brain. (laughs) (laughs) But I mean, I mean, that's how I came to, you know, get uh, action figures like the sectars or. Uh, the Visionaries or uh, the Toxic Crusaders or Darkwing Duck because there was these oh, yeah. cartoons with these series and yeah. like, well, I see this on TV. I got to get this thing. And mm-hmm. and so they visually looked interesting. And I think the packaging at the time uh, had a lot to do with it, with the design. There was a lot even with the package itself, like we had talked about. There's these cards on the back. You could collect those. There was special – uh, films or uh, comic books that were built in. Um, but I, I think it was a combination of, of all of that. And for me, that kind of culminated with, you know, X-Men and even Batman animated series in, in the nineties. I think that was the, the last time for me. Uh, so I don't know if it's just, the mentality going in it of these really great cartoons and the packaging and the design, if, if that was what it was. Do you think, uh, cause oh, yeah, ahead, I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, cause yeah, they, they still have a lot of the good shows and stuff. Um, and there are some toys that are like, cause there's teen Titans go, which is another superhero show. It's more current and it's really fun. And they, and like walking around toys R Us now because of everything, uh, I've gone back in and stuff, and there are actually some fun toys for that um, and designed pretty well. But it seems like, I don't know to me if it's like, say, the Avengers that didn't, they don't look all that great. But but basically, those are kind of the cheaper toys, but now they got like Satchel Collectibles and, well, that, yeah, that's what and all these ask. other bigger places that yeah, you that, get more expensive stuff. That's the question I was going to pose was, is it our own fault that the toys that you go to Toys R Us or Target or wherever and buy are so bad because of us as collectors, they know we'll pay top dollar, or not all of us, but some of us will pay top dollar for a highly articulated figure so they could put out the stupid Avenger ones now and say, okay, there's this one that looks like from Dollar General, or if you want to pay 20 bucks more, you can get the one that looks a little better, or if you want to pay 120 bucks more, you can get the one that looks like it's from the movie. So is it partly our own fault because they know we will pay out the wazoo for the ones that look better? I think it's a little bit of that and a little bit of just general business greed, because if you're if articulation is it, I mean, those He-Man figures could move their arms and legs and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and they were even, you still had fun. Um, yeah. but mm-hmm. yeah, here's I think, a, oh, go ahead, Chris. Okay, Chris. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think they're probably making the toys a lot cheaper. They make everything, everything you buy today is made cheaper, uh, and not built to last, uh, like it used to be And it. Maybe it was expensive to, to in today's money to make like the GI Joes like they did. I don't know. Maybe they still make them like that, but to make all the toys and things um, that they made and made all those different things when um, maybe to make them, but also where are the, where's the focus? A lot of kids that were that are, that would be playing with those toys are doing different things. There's iPads and uh, yeah. video games, more video games than what yeah. we had uh, that, are really their people are focusing on, but I mean, there's still plenty of toys, but, um, 
I don't know. It's just uh, maybe it's changed, you know, the focus uh, and yeah. just the way that they've done it. But why? Yeah, I don't know. Here's here's a here's a prime yeah. example. Uh, Lord of the Rings when the movies came out. Arrow to this, the neck. Yeah, Arrow to the neck. <laughs> to the neck. <laughs> Back to our old episode. This is what their toys look like, and I know you can't see, but but Google Lord of the Rings uh, toys. It looks like Orlando Bloom. Yeah. It looks like the elf from the movie. He's got the knives. He's got a bow and arrow. He's got the flowing um, hair. Um, <laughs> he's ready to take you to Isengard, to Isengard, to Isengard. Um, <laughs> he's very detailed. And they they were just go to Toys R Us, go to Target. They were the regular ones that you bought. It wasn't like this was a step up, you know. Mm, yeah. It wasn't like this was a special toy for collectors. This was the line. And you could still go on eBay. I just looked it up thinking, okay, how much are they going to be on eBay? I mean, you could get some of them on eBay for 5 or $6 in their original package. Mm. <laughs> I think that, again, it came down to a money thing. We can ship these over and make poor versions of them and kids are still going to buy them parents are still going to buy them but this was i mean there's no reason why toys can't be like this with the technology we have no reason yeah but they know people will pay a lot more for this yeah. now so today if you made this toy right here how much do you think it would be uh, like Pretty 20 bucks yeah yeah because um, that's what they do with the star wars line yeah they have like the smaller figures that are like kind of cheaper seven eight bucks or whatever but then they have like the black series black, yeah. and stuff like that where they're a lot more articulated and they're yeah. bigger black series um and like yeah those are like 20 bucks or something like that <laughs> um, <laughs> well yeah or you wait till they go on sale and you buy them really cheap yeah like um, the disney came out with a line probably the best star wars figure line that i've seen and it was die cast they're all die cast um so this is this is uh, Kylo Ren. Uh, look it up. It, it looks <laughs> just Kylo. like the one from the movie. He comes on a little stand. He's fully posable. He, he whines a lot. He whines, whines a lot. lot. Um, He's got an eight. Very eight. Eight. Oh, an eight. But they went on clearance, <laughs> and I got them like I mean, they were probably twenty bucks or more. But I got a bunch of them on clearance for like two dollars. So you got to play your cards right, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's just like I. I don't know. I think we, we, since we're seeing Toys R Us go bankrupt and closing down, we're seeing all... I, I don't know. I don't know how long the toys like we grew up with are, will be around. Um, which is sad. Um, so I don't know. I don't know when my kid gets to be, you know, mm-hmm. 10 years from now or whatever. I don't know if we'll be playing with toys. Like yeah, we'll be (laughs) way to go, Debbie Downer. But you know, that's why I've kept a lot of my toys. That's what I was sort of getting to in our in our pre talk before we recorded. uh, I think Jared asked, "Do you you keep them in the box?" Or I've got to the point where, yes, I still have some in the box, partly because I just haven't opened them, partly because they're just in the box, and there's that little part of you that's like, "You got to keep these Star Wars figures in the box. They can be worth." $20. Twenty dollars. <laughs> oh, five dollars. Check this out. I, I was looking up GI Joes in packages, and with this, do you remember Dreadnought? He's he yeah. had a um, yeah flamethrower, right, or something like that. Two hundred and seventy-five dollars is what this dude's going for. Oh, wow! If you have it in the package, never open. That's right. Yeah, I was looking up one of the uh, the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes uh, things that I had, and they've got some on box uh for $295 and that is just crazy to me when i've i know they're somewhere back at my parents house in storage <laughs> but um yeah i for for me with collecting and and opening stuff I, and i i kick myself for doing this cuz i it, it wasn't until i got out of college that i realized about the collecting thing I remember as a teenager, I came across a sealed inbox Hordak figure from He Man's, oh. and he was, you know, the villain for She Ra, whatever. Yeah. But he was this yeah. cool skeleton looking guy, white face, looked cool, super cool and creepy. 
I want to see what it's like, even though I, it's right. <laughs> it's in clear packaging. I see. <laughs> I had, and if, there's nothing wrong with opening something and playing with it. But if you're just opening it up to opening up, I, I kick myself still <laughs> to to this day for for doing that. Uh, but it wasn't until I started getting into Dragon Ball Z. Thanks a lot, Chris. Uh, yeah, and, 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 collect, and collecting that <laughs> stuff, I realized like I opened up maybe one or two of those figures and like I'm my childlike imagination is out the door. I'm not coming up with voices and situations to interact with these <laughs> with these things. So I'm like, I, I, I felt very self-conscious that like I'm. <laughs> I'll do a Kamehameha in my heart. So, <laughs> and, that's, that's, and that's why I, I, I quit opening s- stuff like that. Can you do one right now? Kamehameha? Uh, I'm, I'm too close to the microphone. I'll blow it out. <laughs> uh, it all changed for me when I had a kid because he's three years old. Like, I bought a long time ago the preschool Star Wars uh, collection, some of those, and Millennium Falcon, um, X Wing, all that stuff. And they've been in the box. You know, since I bought them, and then when he turned three, as it said on there, three plus, I waited <laughs> for Christmas. I, I said, "Here you go," and I wrapped them up, and he opened them, and he plays with them like every day. And then the coolest thing ever, I wish I'd opened them sooner and played with them. Uh, but part of me was like, "Let's look on eBay and see how much they're worth." But then I'm like, "No, no, like he's a kid, and like they don't have cool toys like this really." And I've got them. I've got them all, and he, now he plays with them. And I, I remember a quote from Mark Hamill um, a, a while back, and he said somebody asked him about you know keeping toys in packaging versus opening them, and he goes they were made to play with. You know, if you got a kid, why would you put it on the shelf and be like, no son, that's only to look at, when it was clearly <laughs> made for the kid to play with. So let him use his imagination. You know, let him him play with the toys, take it out of the box. Because after all, it's just. A toy, and that's what they're made for. So, yes, I still have some in the boxes, but I think if there, there comes a point where he's like, I want to play with that, it's going to be hard for me to say, no, that's to stay on the shelf. You know? But just think just think a toy story. Uh, they're, they're, that that thing is probably dead in that box by now. It's suffocating. <laughs> so it's just a corpse just sitting in that box. I'm surrounded by you know, corpses. So, so once you do open it up to play with it, you're playing with a dead body. Yeah, well, there um, you go. Oh, there you go. go. No one's having uh, that. I, <laughs> I never really got to that point like where I kept stuff in boxes. Um, I think I had a couple of them because I'd found them and because it became a thing for toy collectors to find stuff where things that were supposed to go to another country accidentally got sent to the U.S. So you'd find packaging that was in a different language. Yeah. And like that was the thing because like oh these would be worth a lot so I keep those. And I think I found like a dark side at one point. Oh, I have like him. A, in a I have him here run. in the closet right here. Yeah, you, you probably do have him. I do have him. Uh, right and yeah, there. The packaging. Yeah, <laughs> and the packaging was a different language, so I found that I was like, oh, I get that. But I also got another one that was a regular package, and I opened that one up. So, right, and, right, right. And even even at the point where I wasn't really playing with toys anymore, I always wanted to open it because I'd set them up. I'd do like these displays yeah. on shelves and you everything. Did, you did, you did. Yeah, I did. I, I would I would set up like these huge scenario with all the GI Joes, like <laughs> and everything. And when I was getting into animation too, um, I took uh, Optimus Prime and another one, and I did like a little stop motion animation using our camera, where I would take a click and then and then move it. And take another click, and I had Optimus Prime battling another Transformer and then transforming. Uh, and yeah, I, was, I don't know. I never got tired of stuff like that. I still, <laughs> I still sit them up, and I've got di- dioramas of uh, dioramas of uh, Lord of the Rings behind boxes. me. Um, <laughs> I've got Star Wars all in front of me, and they're all set up. And the the coolest thing these aren't really toys, I don't guess, but uh, Star Wars came out with an Unleashed line. That were like yeah. little statues, sort of, but they were cheap. I've got like yeah. a whole the shelf and IKEA shelf in front of me is just all of them set up. And <laughs> so cool. Um, I was never <laughs> into t- to collecting them uh, at all, and w- I remember when the new Star Wars movies came out, the the uh, like Phantom Menace and all those, and uh, we. We were in college, and we went to Walmart, and at midnight they were releasing them or whatever time it was. So a bunch of us were there, you know, and, and I I got a Django Fett because he had 
cool tools and all this stuff. And I still have him. And uh, I, as soon as we got out of there, I ripped that thing open. I was like, I'm playing with this dude. He is cool. You know, he's got a grappling <laughs> hook and a, he can shoot <laughs> it, the, the thing off his back and all this. And I remember uh, Josh Shelton and he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wanted to, you know, keep his uh, uh, pure, I guess. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Uh, the thing with Django Fett, though, the <laughs> one version, when you opened them, um, this is, and you know, it came out before the movie, you open them and his head falls off, and you're like, oh, why? No, what my... is happening? Why is his head falling off? And then you realize it's supposed to, and then you see the movie, That's and weird. he gets his head chopped off. <laughs> mine, no, mine didn't, mine didn't fall Spoiler. off. The helmet came off, but uh, and he had a star on his face. But uh, Yeah, there was one yeah. where it's like a magnetic hit, head, which is sort of yeah. morbid to give a child. Here, weird, play with yeah. this figure that yeah. you can decapitate. But it, what was weird about those, even because those are still the newer style, it's like they're posed in some way. Yeah. It's not like they're not fully mobile, and it's like, ah, I, how do you play with this? You know, but, um, how do you do a pile driver with this guy? You know, but it's like, um, uh, but yeah, I, I found it the other day or not too long ago, and and my son plays with it and thinks it's cool too. So, but yeah, I don't have many old my old toys. So. I've got them. I'm, I'm a little scared now because you know, in what was it 15 days or whatever, 18 days or whatever it is, Chris is coming to my house, and I've already mm-hmm. said I've already said gonna... Ghostbusters, and I said that I got Dark oh. Side up there. <laughs> I'm taking them back. Taking them all taking back. Them. I may have to like lock, <laughs> put a lock on my room or something out of my office to keep him out of here it's because he's coming fun. down. The catering's coming down. We're going Hello. to Comic Palooza. Woo! I'm gonna. What's going? On? This Tom Cruise is happening May 25th through the 27th. How many days away is that? I don't know. It's like 15 or 14. Yeah, 15 days, yeah, 14 so, days. Okay. It's happening here in Houston, uh, Texas's largest Comic Con. Uh, it's gonna be fun. They, they just announced just, today that John Cusack's gonna be there. That's right. <laughs> holding the boombox. Yeah. Holding the boombox. He's just gonna stand in the middle of Tom Cruise holding the boombox. <laughs> Playing the hits from the eighties. Um, I'm trying to name. <laughs> and his brother's going to be their relative. I don't know. If, I guess it's his brother Henry Cusack. You know, which is so that's kind of Henry. Cool. Just, Henry's, Henry's going to be there. Yeah. Oh you didn't know that? Wait, I said that on the first. Buy yeah. tickets <laughs> today, folks. Oh, who's Henry Cusack? I don't know who that is. It's John Cusack's <laughs> brother. Oh, okay. it's John, he's on the 100, and he was also in. Wait, are they related? Else. They're not related. Are yes, they? he looks just like him. I mean, it's, All right, hold on. Yeah. I gotta look this up. Yeah, you'll be like, oh, I, I mean, not just. Like, I did not really. know he had a brother. So, I didn't know uh, that they were. <laughs> I just knew about Joan Cusack. Yeah, I knew about yeah. Joan. Yeah, Henry? he looks a lot like him. Anytime I think of Joan Cusack, um, you think about toys? Thinking, right? And yeah, happened. toys, the movie Toys. <laughs> she was the robot on there. That, I like that movie, but it's also very freaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was, so, yeah, there's some. I think he was on no, Lost as well. That's what it is. Uh, Henry Cusack was on Lost. I don't think they're related because their names are spelled different. Oh, really? Yeah, his first name is John and the other one's Henry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Henry's right, last name is spelled C U S I C K. Yeah. And John's Cusack. is spelled C U S A C K. One sick yeah, and one's well, a sack. Henry, well, fine. Henry Cusack. I always remember him off of that you show. Said, we'll see if you pronounce it like that, I guess. So. Well, maybe, maybe there's more. Hold no, on. You're right. I bet Kingdom. you're right. I, that's funny. I've lived a life for the last, like, five years of watching <laughs> law, or, the 100. Man, this is um, breaking news, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you were living a lie like me. I mean, they look a lot alike. If you looked at maybe they just spell it different because they're like, I don't want to be associated with that guy. But you look like him. But no, he doesn't look that much like him. He's uh, he grew up. He's from Peru. <laughs> so this never very mind. very distant brother. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just remember him from uh, the Tenth Kingdom that uh, mini series they did on like NBC, where like fairy tales were real. It's almost uh, like a yeah, Once Upon yeah. a Time. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, now there's a the Bill wolf. Cusack that's related. Never mind. Bill and <laughs> Ann and Joan and Susie. That's the that's the family right there. That's the clan. Oh well, <laughs> John, of course, Peruvian actor. <laughs> yeah, he does, he really doesn't look like much like him, I guess. We've but. broken Catron's <laughs> mind tonight uh, on Iron Geek. Oh no! Uh, I wish we uh, had told him, and like we would have been like, "Hey, dude, I, I know you really like Henry and John, so we're gonna have you meet them 
at uh, Comfalooza. We got your passes. You're going to go meet them. He's going to be like, man, I love you and your brother. And he's going to be like, what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's apparently a common misconception, I think, because I think I was looking it up, and it, one of the things that came up in Google search was Henry Cusick brother. <laughs> and it's, and because uh, I'm sure people are like trying to figure that out. If that's, I don't know, the same, but it's like, if you look, yeah, if you look at the spelling, I never noticed it, I guess. I just assumed it was the you same. You just wanted it to be true. In your heart, you wanted this to be to be I two really brothers. Don't care, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care. Anyways, yeah. Common Palooza is coming. You can <laughs> buy your tickets right now. Get them before they're gone. Tom Holland's going to be there. Spider Man himself, mm-hmm. fully as Spider Man. Well, Let's I mean, go. he's going to have all his body parts and not, you know, no spoilers. <laughs> what a Frost service! Like, no spoilers. <laughs> that's, that's great. Did that's you great. hear that he he totally. Um, spoiled oh. the movie for a whole theater. Yeah, they hadn't watched the movie yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah he came in. He's like, "I'm alive!" And they're like, "What?" <laughs> and so Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> spoilers, by the way. Benedict Cumberbatch comes in. and goes, "I'm alive too!" <laughs> Trying to cover it up. <laughs> um, he's got a he's got a mouth on him. He likes to yeah. share. Uh, so yeah, we hope to see you there. We will be recording live. Jared's gonna fly down. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm, what, I'm, I'm there in spirit. Ray Chase oh. will be there signing autographs from the original trilogy. <laughs> from the Ray Chase saga. Yeah, from the Ray Chase saga. Probably not. I'll be there. Chris will be there. Katrin will be there. We'll be wearing oh. our I Am Geek t-shirts that you can hats. buy today. Can hats. You can buy them at shop.spreadshirt.com slash I Am Geek or forward slash. Uh, <laughs> you can buy all the t-shirts there. They're pretty cool. Um, more and more coming. We, we have an Infinity Wars one coming, I believe. If you saw the logo yes. for the Infinity War that we did at I'm Geek with the Six Stones, uh, hopefully that will be coming soon. Uh, so, uh, yeah, oh, wow, we're over, over an hour. Hour and 11. Oh, great. So oh. let's wrap this up. Real f- we had a bunch of questions. Oh, that we need to get to. I don't know if we have time to get to them. Sure. Uh, from our Facebook group, if you if you like to talk, if you like to converse with other geeks, join our group on Facebook. It's called I Am Group. Look it up. I Am Geek. I Am Group. Um, you can find us there. Uh, questions? Do you might have those pulled up, or I can pull them up. I don't know. One time. I bet someone does. There's there's one here about Henry Cusick. Um. <laughs> uh there was one that said that um when when you were growing up with your toys did you use did you like cross do crossovers or was one franchise uh, basically star wars and you could only play with other star wars with star wars or did you mix them up i would mix the random ones up like i wouldn't cross dc and marvel necessarily <laughs> Um, I was I was pretty like okay like Batman can interact with X Men that doesn't happen but <laughs> like but um, if they were like random characters that I didn't really know much about or anything I would take them like I would have Spawn figures that like I didn't really know much about Spawn so I was like okay well this guy looks really cool he's going to be one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse and he's going to attack the X Men and sense. I would come up with different storylines like that. Where like apocalypse created this guy and he's going to attack everybody. So I would do that, but like if it, I wouldn't do like the main crossovers. Yeah. This was Vance anyway. Cope on our group. He mentioned this. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it depended on the the toy, like you said, um, and, and and the size of the figures. If one of them was like way bigger than yeah. the other one, it was sort of weird in my weird head. Uh, yes. Also, he asked, yeah. uh, "Were you jealous of the kids on the commercials?" They had all the action figures and all the vehicles and everything playing in their cool backyard. Or was it just Apparently, me? As a you, you guys weren't because you had them all. We <laughs> did not. Okay. <laughs> we did not have them all. We were just very fortunate that a lot of people that a lot of people would give us. Uh, our parents. I'm just nice. saying you did have. Stuff. <laughs> you, you mentioned all of these things that you had and. I didn't know anybody at all. That's we fine. had a lot of toys. We, we had a lot of toys. That's fine. We're very fortunate. It's because we're our really our, our, our father fine. worked for the mafia. We've we've talked about yeah. this before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he would just make them Talk an offer they couldn't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> toys. All the toys you can have. Just 
or for your kids. I love you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah. I didn't have a wrestling ring growing up. So there's, Apparently, there's that. There you go. I got one now, yep. though. I did want one of those, and I'm sorry, I wanted one with the cage on it, the steel cage. Oh, that was like yeah. the ultimate, right? The, like the old steel cage, not the chain link, but like oh, the, the bar. Yeah, the blue right? like yeah. The bars. Yeah that, yeah, that seemed awesome. Which is so funny because they're super tiny, like the one you have, right? It's like it's really not that big, is it? And roll oh, rings no, are not that big. One's, this one's uh, not that big. Okay, I can't. <laughs> About a foot long. I can't see that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means. I'll just see your shoulders. For the listeners, he's raising his hands up. Sorry. Yeah. It's like the size of a Subway sandwich lengthwise. Yeah. I don't know. So it's 11 it's inches? Full, it's so full seven. Full. Yeah. It's probably 12 by 12, maybe. Yeah. It's just, yeah, like a foot. That, that yeah. seems, I don't know. It's like you it's imagine just, it being bigger when you're a kid. It's like, I want no. this huge. Size, it's the size of a Subway sandwich. So a foot long or six inches? Uh, foot long. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking. I was like, I never uh, got a foot long, so it must be. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right so anyways also there was a lot of stuff that happened this week that we're not going to get to but there was rumors of the obi-wan movie starting pre-production and i'm very excited about that yeah we'll get into that another time uh got, we'll, got henry cusick yeah <laughs> it's got henry cusick <laughs> He's playing. He's, over he's starring as uh, John, John Cusack's, Cusack's brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think I the feel like there's a t-shirt. Crossover. I feel like there's a crossover T-shirt in here somewhere so, between yeah. Henry and John. Right. All my. Yeah. <laughs> Don't uh, tell your family. Sick in the sack. <laughs> This is awesome. Don't tell your family to crush your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Katrin. This is kind of my role on the show. No. It's like the village no. idiot. Like, no. Arrow to the neck? What? What? Very intelligent. Well, <laughs> yeah, there's all other stuff. Uh, there was actually a decent episode of Flash last week. We don't have time yeah. to talk about it. Uh, oh, but the last thing, this is the last thing. We have a new, we, we're following someone on Twitter now that I'm very proud of that we're following. Mm. And we the guys, I don't even before. think, know that we're following him. Um, <laughs> I don't pay attention to this thing. Yeah, okay. I'm going to I'm gonna pull it up here. Uh, he's coming out in a movie. That, he's going to be in a movie very soon. So uh, we're following him, so he's not yeah, following us. He's not following us yet. I feel I follow lots of people, but he's. Yeah. But I, I was very. I was just like, oh, I, cool that I found. Him. We're following Peter W. From oh. Deadpool Two, <laughs> PW <laughs> underscore nineteen seventy four. He's got his own. He's uh. his own page on there. We're following. I sent him a message. I haven't heard back yet, but this is what I sent him. I said, Peter. We're always looking for interesting guests for our podcast, IamGeekShow.com. We see that you have a passion for regional sales and wanted to know if you'd like to be a guest on the show. Hashtag <laughs> Deadpool 2. Yes. Hashtag X-Force. Hashtag Salesforce. So, <laughs> Peter, we want you on the show. Yeah. His page is awesome. It's If you haven't seen it, uh, he's a husband experienced apertress, which is a beekeeper. Because I like sports and growing on my deck. DM for more info. <laughs> I'll follow him too. So there's there's rumor that he could be a character, an actual character from the comics. Yeah, Peter. Um, Pete, Pete Wisdom. Pete Wisdom. Yeah. He's uh yeah like a like a special agent. He's British. I just wanted uh, to be Peter W. The sales associate. They got wrapped up. I'm into hoping this. yeah. It's, I'm hoping it's just that's what it it's is. It's hilarious. And, and there's like there was a poster for Deadpool because like if you look in the trailer you'll see it too. There's when they're jumping out of the plane, there's a parachute. It's just a parachute. So it looks like an invisible person is wearing a parachute jumping out of the plane. And on the most recent poster there's like looks like somebody standing in water, but they're ah. invisible and they're wearing a parachute. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> There's like another character that hasn't been revealed yet because you can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I want you to do, uh, I'm Geek listeners. First off, I want you to go to our Twitter page and follow us. You follow us, we'll follow you back. 
I am Geek um, Show at I am Geek Show on Twitter. Follow us, follow us back, and then I want you to go and follow Peter, and I want you to <laughs> tell Peter you got to be on I am Geek. They need you. They need to know all your expertise when it comes to. Uh, I, I think he needs us. And, and <laughs> I think he needs us. Yeah, yeah, he needs us. Peter, if you're listening, which I'm sure Same you are, uh, <laughs> we want you on the show. But Jared, thanks. I hope you've had fun, Jared. Always, yeah. always love it. You're always welcome. Thank you for coming on. Mm-hmm. But I think it's that time we're we're, we're approaching an hour twenty. We're hit. We've hit an hour twenty. <laughs> That's the limit. It's the mm-hmm. limit. They're cutting <laughs> us off. I, they're they're in my ear in the, in the studio saying, you know, time to go. We got to make room for the bluegrass program coming up next. Uh, <laughs> but, but check us out on iTunes, on SoundCloud, on Podbean, on iHeartRadio. We're on uh, we're on there now. We're on iHeartRadio, Google Play. We're on just about everything except for Spotify. Uh, love <laughs> to hear from you. Join us on social media. We're talking it up on. <laughs> sorry. PW has a video of a goose attacking a kayaker, and it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, join us next time. Uh, also, we're going to try something here in the future. If, if you're listening to other podcasts, don't 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 steal this idea from us. Well, you can. Okay. <laughs> we're going to try to we're going to try some live call-ins. Uh, Ooh. Since we do Ooh. this on Skype, we can just Skype you in. <laughs> Well, the number is seven three one four four. No, that's not it. We'll give you a, a, Eight, a six, topic. Seven, five three zero nine. You message us and say, "Hey, I want to come on and give you my thoughts on this topic," and we'll Skype you in, uh, sort of like a call-in show for radio. It, it'll happen in the future. I don't know when it'll happen. Probably not next week, uh, but uh, it'll happen. So let us know what you think about that idea. Also, let us know what you want us to hear, what you want to talk about. Anyways, this has been I Am Geek. This has been episode 55. Thank you, Jared, again. Thank you, Katrin. Thank you, Chris, again. Thank you to our listeners, and we hope to uh, see you or hear you or, I don't know, talk to you on social media real soon. Anyways, we'll, we'll talk at you next week. This has been I Am Geek. Good night, everybody. Bye.